What's up guys, I'm the voice behind the helmet and today I'll be doing a review on this beautiful 2019 Harley Sportster 883. I always wanted to ride one of these. I definitely am attracted to the paint job on this bike and I'm super excited to do a review and give you guys my personal opinion and insight on this bike. Of course, before we get into this video, I'll be discussing the price, the weight, the body style and comfortability of this bike. I'm not gonna touch too much on the features, um, but I will list what I can think of for you guys. However, without further ado, let's jump into it, baby. The key is to the front. You'll be able to see that if you go on a test ride. If you don't know, they'll tell you. And then the kickstand is a little far out um, for, for my short people. Another thing you'll have to do is put this thing down and then do that. So getting into the price of this bike, Flip My Cycle is selling it for $9,500. However, KBB listing price is $8,365. But if you look on KBB, it says in there that, you know, the price of a bike can significantly vary based on the mileage of a bike. As you can see, this bike only has 1,000 miles on it. So, you know, that, that can be a very uh, big con contributor and factor of that. Um, paint jobs, aftermarket parts on the bike can also have a great effect on the pricing of a bike as well. So let's keep that in mind when purchasing a bike. So, so your cruisers is definitely uh, significantly heavier than your sport bikes. So this bike is coming in weighing, I believe it was 545 pounds dry weight. And compared to all the other bikes that I did, that's like almost a 200 pound jump. So that goes to tell you that your cruisers are typically a little bit more heavier than your sport bikes. Now, wet weight of this bike is about 565 pounds. And the reason why I like telling you guys the weight of bikes is so that way you can know what to expect prior to going to maybe do your own review, your own test ride. So you're not in for too much of a surprise. So the body style of this bike, I actually love the color. It's definitely super retro. Uh, some, sometimes I like modernized, but I believe that some things look better in the uh, retro aspect. Let me get on a, a throttle here. So this is one of those bikes where you can have a, a different type of color scheme on it and it does it a lot of justice. A good thing about this bike is that it's also fuel injected. So even Harley got up to, to par with that. I remember when I did the review on the 250, I was saying like how I don't prefer uh, carbureted bikes, just like takes entirely too long for them to warm up. And not only that, it's just like the dependency on it like fluctuates. So it being a uh, fuel injected bike is definitely a plus for me. It has the turn signals on each side. So left is on this side, right is on this side. The thing that you have to note is that when you are trying to turn a signal off, you have to tap it again. The little speedometer is cool. It'll be even better if it told you what gear you're in. You know, if you're gonna update a bike and modernize it, then don't, don't half-ass it, if that makes sense. This bike has a stock exhaust on it. Uh, if, if you guys remember Tay Baby, uh, she actually has this bike and she rides that thing like she stole it. And I don't blame her, she gets up. So, you know, if you guys tuned into my videos with her, you can just hear the sound of her pipes and you can see how well she rides her bike. We're gonna hit the highway with the bike. Uh, I already know it goes up to at least 105 just because we topped out um, using Tay Baby's bike. Every time I go to test ride these things, it'll be super windy these days. I 
side on the highway I didn't really get to open up the way I wanted to just because it's super windy and I feel like that takes away from the quality of how fast you go my little self be getting pulled anyway so I end up just taking it easy um, but I know for sure that this bike can go at least 105 just because of you know my friend Tay Baby owning one of these so the placement of the uh, foot pegs on this bike is definitely different for me uh, it's upright as you can expect um, it's definitely cruiser style I don't know I guess having one seat on this bike is a pro and a con in case you don't want to ride anybody but if you know you wanted to take your little sister daughter niece nephew brother uncle, whatever you know on a ride is really no way to put nowhere to put them unless they're like real tiny and even then it'll be like you guys will both be squished on this bike even with a stock um exhaust it's you know still not super bad comfortable turns you could just like get on it and just hit it just keep in mind what gear you're in when riding this because it can mess you up it definitely can mess you up so this bike is known for its smooth transitions and shifting as well as its reliability and I definitely can see why if that's the case it's, it's definitely smooth it's comfortable enough they said this is actually a good bike for beginners as well and I definitely can see why and agree look at that I just hit on it if I had to get a cruiser and you know this iron was my only choice I think I'd be satisfied because I feel like it's a lot you can do on this bike you can learn same way you can learn on a 250 it's the same basics that you take with a sport bike and apply it to this type of bike but I can I can definitely um, I can definitely see why they say this is a, a a first bike so now let's go ahead and jump into the comfortability of this bike uh it's upright most bikes that's upright you can make the assumption that it's comfortable and with that being said like it's not in a position to where you have to really i guess be excessive or or think too much this thing uh has some power to it too the only thing that's uncomfortable for me right now is the positioning because i'm personally not used to being in an upright position so you know for it to be this comfortable it's uh it's pretty cool it's even it's like it's more comfortable than a 250 and the r3 that i rode on if you're going a long distance then this type of seating the style of seating definitely pays off so that's a benefit of owning one of these bikes i like the wheelbase of this bike too another thing that was different for me is uh is the way that you start this bike so oh this bike has hazards that's awesome as on a sport bike you just hit the on button and you press it's like the ignition switch is down here on the sport bike so that threw me off a little bit i was like oh <laughs> but this bike is super comfortable i just wish that harley didn't stick to its common uh design and just started adding a little bit more to it but this thing is it's fun it's relaxing if you want to go on a smooth cruise this is definitely your bike and as far as it being a first bike despite the weight of it i definitely say you would love it you enjoy it and i don't see why this wouldn't be an option for a first bike shoot even if it's you know not your first bike and you just want a casual bike to get around from point a to point b this is also your bike like 
the reliability of these bikes is phenomenal. And I'm just saying that based off, you know, the people I ride with who actually own one of these things. And like, I'm giving you guys the deal of insight on this bike right now. But what I'll do is see if Tay Baby will let me uh, test ride her bike. And I'll give you guys a, a difference in a, a comparison video, you know, because her bike has a little bit more mods than this one. So it's, it's a little different. But nonetheless, it's amazing and fun. Now, if you want to purchase this bike, go ahead and visit flipmycycle.com or contact the staff directly. Just know that these are my personal opinions. And, you know, if you have anything to add that I may have missed, leave a comment in the comment section. And, of course, as always, until next time, guys. What's this? <laughs> Gotta do that. I don't, I don't know what this... Oh, you could flash people. Keep it off, you can just flash. This is awesome. <laughs>